So last summer, I rooted the largest cutting I've ever rooted. It was about two foot long and six inches in diameter, and it was a giant fig cutting. It took about six to eight weeks if I remember right, but I was very impressed with how well this thing rooted. It filled that pot with roots. Now I originally had plans to turn this into sort of a bonsai tree and I still intend on doing that. However, it's just been growing in the same pot ever since. I just haven't had time to really start shaping it yet, but this is going to take years to really develop into a nice bonsai. Many of you have been asking me, how is that tree doing now? And is it still growing well? Well, I thought today we'd take the opportunity to pull that thing out of the pot, take a look at the roots, check it out, see how it's growing, and just cover it all. So here it is in all its glory, tucked back in amongst all of these mulberry trees here. And in fact, we didn't just root one massive cutting, we rooted a second one. And I've got that back here now. Let's pull these guys out and take a look. These things are still alive and thriving and doing well and this thing is just absolutely out of this world massive. I was so excited to get this thing to root. I'm going to show you here in a second but it's got tons of roots just pouring out of the bottom of the pot. Originally I had thoughts of planting this up earlier this past spring into a big giant tub that I've got to really get those roots to expand but I got busy and just ran out of time but I think I'm going to end up doing that this late winter you know next winter so that we can uh get this thing to just really put on some massive growth now originally like i said i was going to turn this into a bonsai and i do intend on doing that still i uh, i thought it would be really cool to cut all this top material off turn this sideways a little bit in a pot and get these to be the top branches I don't know, what do you guys think? There's so many different ways that you can shape this tree, but uh, either way, it's gonna be really cool. So let's give you a little closer view of all this. These branches are really growing out here nicely. They're probably, probably a little over two foot tall right here from the base of the trunk here where they're growing. There's a couple branches on that side, one branch over on this side. I don't know exactly how we're going to shape this yet. And then I haven't cut this off because there's one really cool little branch down here. If any of you guys that have experience with growing these bone size want to uh, give me some tips or what you think we should do, let me know. Down at the base, you can see we have got tons of roots pouring out of that pot. And I'm going to pull this thing out of the pot in just a second, if I can get it out. And uh, we're going to take a look at all those and how much they're filling up that thing. I'll have to go get my little buddies out here to help me do that i think this is the smaller cutting now this was like a fail safe in case this one didn't root i wanted to see something take and this is probably two inches in diameter and it was also close to two feet long it's got some really nice top growth i don't know how i'd shape that quite yet i think the uh doing bonsai trees where the main trunk is going straight up isn't as interesting so once again i've thought about turning the branch as we plant it and then shaping this to go more upward uh, either way it'll be fun just kind of messing around with it all right so i got my helpers here and we are going to try and pull this thing out of here and see what these roots look like you guys ready yeah all right so we're gonna have to do the same thing as before i'm gonna kind of i'm gonna try to tap that okay when i pull this up i want you to pull the pot out you got it yeah all right there it is. There's the fig tree. Look at that one big fat root coming through there. It's still doing good, alive and healthy. Boy, that is one heavy sucker. All right, put that pot back down there. That's a All big right. One. Yeah. It is. All right. Let's look at this guy now. You think you'd be able to pop that out? There you go. And that one's got a lot of roots too, obviously. You guys knew it would. So a ton of big roots going throughout there. We've got a nice healthy fig tree with a lot of cool branching. Not sure how we're going to train this guy yet, but I just think that is so cool. All right, let's get that back in there.
All right, so the girls went back to whatever they were doing, but I just wondered what you guys think about this. How should we shape these trees going forward? I definitely need to up pot them. Those roots are filling the pots in here now. I'm not going to worry about it right now. They're going to be going dormant over the next couple months, but when we uh, get into the winter, the late winter, I need to up pot them. That's going to be number one. But when I up pot them, how should I, how should I plan on training this moving forward? I'm really thinking about, I like the look, of this thing being kind of leaned way down and then training those branches to go more straight up. I think that'd be a really cool look. And then cutting this top part off right up here and kind of whittling down some of the wood away from here so that it looks really neat and natural over time. It's gonna take years for this to really develop, but I think there's something really neat that we'll be able to do with this trunk. I just don't know what yet. This one we could do differently. I just haven't figured that out yet. We could keep it straight or we could lean it off to the side and try to train that branch. What do you guys think? Let me know. And if you're wondering the variety of fig that those came from, it's the fig that I affectionately call Jim Wilson. It came from the 40 acre homestead across the road. I don't know the original variety of that fig tree. It was planted there by his parents decades ago who knows how long ago but i got some cuttings off fit originally am growing one out here in fact we can go take a look at it now if you want to and i also got those huge cuttings off of that same tree and this is the jim wilson fig tree it's a beautiful fig that does really well in our area it produces pretty large figs when the tree is mature in the landscape and you can see it gets loaded every year we've got tons of main crop figs coming up this thing on a bunch of the branches here pretty much all of them actually and it's just growing beautiful and healthy i'm actually going to get this one in the ground at some point it's in a seven gallon pot now nice thick stock down there looking really good i just haven't figured out exactly which hole i want to put this in yet and while we're out here i know some of you were probably eyeballing those grapes so i might as well show them to you check this out this thing is loaded in fact there's two varieties here they're both loaded and I mean loaded down hardcore with grapes this year. Absolutely amazing how many grapes are coming along off of these vines. There's just two plants and we're gonna have more grapes than we know what to do with. Now the deer can get in on this side. This isn't contained on, this is actually the outside of the orchard and you can see they're stripping some of the branches but they're not messing with the grapes at all. And that's kind of how it's gone ever since we planted these things. But look at that, this is that red variety the flame red and it is just equally loaded down. There's a few that are just starting to turn. If I get in there close enough, I don't know if I can find any right now, but there's one. Just starting to get that color on it. Really nice variety, lots of grapes. So there it is, an update on the giant fig cuttings. A lot of you've been asking about it. You finally got it. If you have some thoughts on how we should train that or grow it moving forward, either of them, let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate all your comments on it and your ideas. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see more updates on this as the years progress. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.